Hello folks, it's Echo here. I recently completed the 5x5 challenge from Glock9, and in the comments of that one, I had a lot of people asking about my configuration that I had with a dart trap shooting through a block. That led me to the initial concept of this video, which was to teach you all which blocks you can shoot through and potentially repair or even wire through. But once I started digging through the code and conducting my own testing, I found all kinds of crazy stuff you can do with the new blocks. If you take a look at the zombies approaching here, you see them walk up and they seem to be just being shot from nowhere. At the end of the video, I will walk through this makeshift fighting position and show you exactly how I did that. But first, let's dive into the individual blocks and show you how they function. To get this list of blocks, I looked at the shapes.xml and then looked for blocks that had the collide attribute of movement, melee, and rocket. So the notable ones missing from this are bullet and arrow. So what that means is that bullets and arrows will not collide with these blocks and instead will move straight through them. Now, when I say straight through them, that brings up some interesting characteristics when I'll show you here in just a second. But lastly, I do want to bring out there are other types of blocks that you can shoot through that do have bullet and arrow collision, and we'll start there first. So these are just three examples, but these type of blocks have the collision type bullet and arrow added. So what that means is if I shoot through the empty space in them, you're okay. But if I actually hit the meat of the block, you're gonna see that it does damage to it. So you can still use these in your whore base construction, but you have to be wary. You also can wire through these typically, the ones that have that uh, collision bullet and arrow. So they're useful from that perspective. But now let's talk about the ones that don't take any damage. So these are the ones that don't have bullet or arrow in their collision type. So for these, I'm gonna use a kind of a, a gross example that, that really brings it home, but we're not just talking about that open space that you can see through. When we're talking about that collision, we're talking about the whole entire block here. And this is a really important principle as we get through this, because you're gonna start to think through some really creative options you can do. And to just really prove this out, I'm gonna launch this through this and I'm aiming straight at the particle wood. And you notice it goes straight through to the other side. So it's not just this open area that can you can shoot through. And that means for if you're dealing with traps, if you're talking about a, a turret or a dart trap or anything like that, they're all gonna work in that same capacity. Same thing with a gun. So we see that one that can be destroyed behind. I'm gonna shoot through here. And you notice I've taken out the block behind it back there. So that'll tell you, and, and so most of these don't have color coding. So any of these that don't have color coding, um, the color coding pertains to, can I reach through the open space in this and either try to wire, which I can't with this one, or try to repair that relay on the other side. So these first few can't, but are useful again, just for setting up traps. Now this one, you can reach around and uh, should have left uh, that other bit. We'll just, we'll just show you because if you can reach it for electrical purposes, you can also repair it. So in this case, you notice I can reach through the bottom. You can't reach through the top half though. So it's only on the bottom one that you can come through here and you can connect through. So that's the arrow slit half ramp tip. I actually think that this would make a really good defensible position if you were looking at a section of a horde base. I haven't tested this yet to see if uh, the crawlers can make it through that space in the top there. So I'm gonna kind of bounce through and again, hit the ones that I think are interesting. The screen one is again one that I can reach over top, grab that. So this one is gonna serve two purposes. You could shoot through it, just like we showed you before, you're not gonna damage it, but you can also repair and wire through. Now here is the magic block. This one has some massive potential. So this baluster corner 01. So you notice it's made to be kind of a pillar piece and I'm gonna, I'm gonna copy it so you can just see what it looks like um, out in the wild. So if we place it over here, it's meant to be kind of a pedestal. And when I was looking at this, I realized, holy crap. So I, I can't, I can't, you know, do any of the repairs or anything through it. But the fact that I can shoot through this and you notice if that was 
the same color as the concrete here, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Has some serious potential for how we design horde bases, as well as some other items that I'll get into later. So, next one on our list we have is the baluster rail. Now, this is going to be one of your holy grail items that you can also do all three and it covers up the whole space and will give you protection from zombies so i can reach straight through here connect through so that's that's a great one to use so bars are dead to me now and i'm going to show you why we've got a much better option to use than bars moving forward but they are still an option if you're just looking to have something to shoot through they do have good line of sight and visibility so they're good from that perspective and all three of the bars uh, centered corner and just the regular ones fall under the same characteristic these ones are interesting i don't know that if i i will use them but they fall under the same characteristic of the other ones that we've labeled green the whole bracket family here you can reach through it, it's almost like it has this top section here which is a, um actually no you could reach through either so as long as you're not dead on that bar you can reach across here and connect up you can also heal that relay on the other side, or if it was a trap on the other side, for example, that you wanted to reach through and heal. So that's true with the whole bracket family. Next, we have the catwalk V1 family. So it's important to note V1 for versus V2. The V2 ones we had on the other side, or actually we have them right here. Um, we'll get through to these in a second, but these ones, again, as long as you're reaching through the center, you can connect up. That means you'll be able to, apparently I accidentally shot the other one in testing. Um, but yeah, any of the V ones are good to reach through. So the V two ones do not have that characteristic. So I cannot reach through and actually touch that relay. Cube frames. Again, these are all good options for shooting through dynamic. Great. Um, the ladders. So this is really interesting here and, and I should have added the other one just for, for knowledge sake. So the ladder round um, and the ladder square have an interesting characteristic. I made this one blue instead of green, because if you see, I try to reach through the ladder, I can't connect to the relays, but in the open space between you can. So if you're using either the ladder round or the ladder square, then just reach around and you're good. Now that brings up another ladder that I'm going to recommend probably not using and that is going to be I think it's called the scaffolding ladder so this one here is going to have the characteristic um the collision characteristic for bullets and arrows that I mentioned before so this one can be destroyed by firearms these two cannot uh, this leads me to my one of my other favorite new blocks. This one is just perfect because um, it really fills the whole space. And if you notice, we can reach right through it and connect up. Additionally, it has that same good old characteristic of being able to shoot through it. You can't damage it. The Metal Trust 3D, you've seen this in a lot of my builds. This is what I used um, right underneath my, my dart trap on my 5x5 challenge with Glock that several people had commented on and asked questions of how did you do that? So when I said bars are dead, this is why the railing block. So the railing block looks pretty similar to the bar. It cuts down your sight lines a little bit more, but it is immune to damage and also has that magical ability to be able to reach through and connect as well as to be able to heal. So if you had a trap on the other side, you'd be good to go. Security gates, um, these ones you cannot reach through, but these have become some of my favorite pieces to use in the game. And again, you can shoot through these without any problem. There's different variations of these. I must've blown out the one. There's a diagonal one. There's the regular ones that line up straight. That's the one that hits center. But these are all really good also if you use them for light filtering. The next one on here, uh, I flagged as yellow because this one's got some interesting use cases to it. Uh, I, I did some additional uses on this one. This one I'm going to do a whole nother video on that I'm just going to tease to you. But this one has some implications for gardening that I'll get back to you in another video. But in terms of this, it's another one of the ones that, yes, even though it looks like a solid block along the side, 
you can shoot through it. Um, and I'm going to show you some application of this one in the baluster corner over the side and how to use those. So next up, we had the trellis, the square and the diamond. I'm not as big a fan of these because these double as ladders as well. So you got to be careful with how you're using them in a whore based construction because the zombies can run straight up them. The trussing, I thought this was one you're going to be able to reach through, but you can't. You can shoot through it, but in terms of being able to repair, you can't do any of that. Same thing with anything in the trussing family. So those are all the blocks that you can shoot through. Now let's show you how this works when you put it all together in a more practical application. If you've enjoyed this, please consider dropping a like and subscribing. And now let's get into this crazy little fighting position that I built. The idea behind this was to string together all the different parts and pieces and give you something that you could actually use. And I might actually make this into a horde base because I really love the compact design of it. But let's get into some color coding. So these chalkboard green pieces, I did all these with baluster corners. So I actually have a shotgun turret nestled behind here that can shoot through all these blocks, even though they look solid. Now I did use for the dart traps across the bottom here. Here are some of the four way arrow slits and that's just a regular arrow slit across the top. But let me just show you how crazy this is. So if I come to the side here with a spear and launch it through, you're gonna notice it goes not just through there, but all the way through to the other side and landed over here. So start thinking about the different ways you can use this, but that's how before when the zombies approached, I was able to easily shoot them through here without doing, you know, anything. So if I, for example, summon in here, a couple Arlene's, let her hang out over there. And I'm gonna come in here, click on the turrets. You notice she's get, just getting obliterated by shotgun turrets. Goodbye, Arlene. Thank you. Now, those shotgun turrets are located back here in the corner, hidden safely behind the wall. And again, just like before, I went and used the railings here. So if I need to get in here and repair, I don't have the right materials right now but repair those or reload these. I have access to do that easily through those bars. So there's just some more things that you can do also for these railings in this case. Oh, I'm stepping on things here. So I made it so I step on the darts and they're gonna shoot up through the bottom there. But I made all these dart traps accessible through here. So I put railings across the bottom. I can reach down and tap these, reload them if I need to. Same thing at the top here above. It's kind of hard to see, but right up there are the dart traps. If I put these down, I can reach right through here and there's access to the dart trap straight through those 3D trussing blocks. Then also I actually put the switch to the electric fences here so I can reach through and switch that on and off. So you can also do controls through any of these blocks. So that is some basic usage of all these crazy blocks. And man, tell me how you'd make use of this. I know that personally, I'm kind of in love with this structure that I've created, and I might make this as a good early game horde base that you can evolve over time. But seriously, talk to me down in the comments. Tell me what you learned from this and how you end up using this, because I think I've uncovered some really amazing stuff that you can play with. And I just want to say, if you're playing on a PVP server, those baluster corners could be hella nasty and hella hilarious. So if you come up with usage for those and you murder some of your foes, please share them with me because mm, potential, so much potential. All right, folks, take care. I'll see you on the next one. Echoes out.